How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to take a look at our next topic, which is along the same lines as the last couple of them, where we're going to take gig zero slash three on VEDGE one and VEDGE two specifically. And we're going to set it up to support the 10.5.6 slash 24 network. Now you'll notice that I have 10.5.6.0 slash 24 there, as well as 10.5.6.0 slash 24 here, which ties to gig zero slash three. The reason why I have it both and on both uh, interfaces is because they're both going to be part of the same VLAN. So VEDGE1 and VEDGE2 on gig zero slash three will be the default gateways for VLAN 56. VLAN 56 actually should be right down here. Sorry about that. Switch 17 will, will create VLAN 56 and get it associated to gig zero zero, gig zero one, gig zero three, and gig one slash zero and get iOS 5 and 6 to communicate. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get through all this, but basically we're gonna configure the CLI on VEDGE 1, and then we're going to configure the templates on VEDGE 2. So the concept is configuring the, uh, it's gonna be VPN 1, so we're not gonna to have to create a new VPN. We will have to create a new VPN interface template. We'll create the template. I'm also going to create a DCP template for this as well so that five and six can get DHCP assigned IP addresses. And I'm also going to set up underneath the interface for gig zero slash three on both devices, VRRP for gateway redundancy and get that all squared away. So by the time we're all said and done, router five and six will be online, switch 17 will be configured and, and operational. And then we'll have the interfaces configured on VEDGE one and two, we'll have VRRP deployed as well as DHCP deployed and we'll get all that squared away and working. So let's go ahead and do it on the CLI first and go through those steps. So on VEDGE 1 here, let me go ahead and get this party started. So I'm going to log in and I'm going to go to global config. I'm going to type in VPN 1 and then underneath interface GE0 slash 3, I'm going to specify the IP address of 10.0. 5.6.1 slash 24, I'm going to no shut that interface. Okay, now that the interface is no shut, now that I'm here, I have the option of doing a few things. The first thing that I'm going to go do, if you look down here, I can do VRRP, and I can also do DHCP server. So I'm going to do DHCP server first. Underneath here, I'm going to specify the address pool it is going to be 10.5.6.0 slash 24. I'm also going to specify, let me scoot this over and up so that I'm not having to do that over and over again. Then I have to specify the options capability and then underneath here, I'm going to say that the default gateway is gonna be 10.5.6.254 and the DNS servers are gonna be 8.8.8.8. Uh, .8 so now that I have all that going for me, I'm gonna do a show config. So that's what I have so far. I'm gonna back out twice, and then I'm gonna type in VRRP, and then I'm gonna give it a, a group ID. So in this case here, it's gonna be 56, hit the enter key. And now I need to specify the IPv4 address is gonna be 10.5.6.254. And I'm also going to set a priority on this guy to be the default gateway, and I'm gonna set it to be 150. Because by default, it's 100, and then by setting the priority higher, you're automatically going to prior, uh, prefer a VEDGE 1 as your connection. Now I could do track OMP so that the OMP peering goes down and stuff like that. So track OMP and stuff like that. And if it, uh, there's other options. We don't really need to go into any more of that detail. We could if we wanted to, but we're in good shape where we're at. So. I'm gonna do a quick show config again so we can see all the syntax that we've got. So we've got interface gig zero three, it, the interface is no shut, so it's enabled. We've got our IP address associated to it. We've done the VRRP config. We did the uh, the IP addressing configuration on it. And if actually let me, that, so those, I have my VRRP config and I have my DHCP config. So let me back out one level to the interface and do a show config, which will show the IP address information as well. We have the IP address information there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to commit that config. Give that a couple seconds to do its thing. And so I'm good to go on VEDGE1. 
Let me go ahead and configure V Edge 2 real quick, and then we'll configure the switch and then the, the routers to do their thing. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this real quick, pull up V Manage, and we're going to go ahead and log in, admin, and then admin. And of course, it somehow gets stuck at this one spot all the time. Don't know why. There we go. So the very first thing I have to do is go to templates. And then I am going to create a feature template. And now, because of the fact that I've already got dual site squared away for gig 0 slash 1, or I'm sorry, uh, gig 0 slash 2, I could technically use this. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one anyway. So VH Cloud, because I don't want to always re reuse one, because I'm going to need new templates anyway. So I'm going to need the, the uh, DHCP server one here. So I'm going to click on VPN interface. This is going to be uh, V edge underscore dual site VPN one int G zero slash three underscore template. Copy and paste that in. I'm going to go to global and no shut that. It's going to be GE zero slash three. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. The IP address here, I'm going to uh, say device specific, so VPN 1. And for the um, G0 3 underscore IPv4 address, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. There's no tunnel here, but I will add VRRP. So add VRRP. The group ID will be 56. I'm also going to mark this as optional. Yeah, that should be okay. And then uh, the priority value will be device specific. So we'll go with that one. So VPN, let me let me uncheck that real quick. And then we're going to go to device specific and then we'll type VPN1. And then I'll put in here uh, G0-3. Did I, I, I moved my mouse by accident. G0-3 VRP group. Because you might have multiple physical interfaces that you want to tie this to. Uh, VPN1, I always like to give it specific to VPN1. I like to be specific here so that I know later on down the road what I'm working with. Then G0 slash, uh, you need a dash, dash 3, VRP priority. And then we are going to, did I select? Let me pull up. Did I specify priority? I did specify priority. Priority value here. I, okay, I've got that. Did I do track OMP? I did track OMP. So we're going to say track OMP. We're going to say global and then on. And I'm going to say underneath here, mark is optional. And then, but I've, at least the variables have been updated so that they're specific to this device. So if you have the ability of configure wiring things up the same at as many places as you can, I highly recommend you do that because then it makes it easier to keep the configs the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add, and that's there. Now I have to go ahead and save this because this is now complete. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another feature template for VH Cloud, but this is going to be a DHCP server. So I'm going to type in VEdge underscore dual site VPN one underscore G zero slash three. Well, let's, say, let's say DHCP underscore template. And we've got that. I could have been more specific to G0 slash 3. Let's go ahead and just throw that in there. Do one more underscore, underscore G0 slash 3. Copy that. Just so we know what interface it ties to. The address pool, we're going to say, um, in this case here, I will say globally, this would be 10.5.6.0. But if I wanted to, I could specify something more specific like device specific. So let's just go with that. D DHCP address. And then if we come down to advanced, this is where we can define the, I'm sorry, uh, the default gateway. We're going to say device specific, DHCP default gateway, and the DNS server, device specific. So those fortunately are specific enough. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. All right, now that I've got that done, 
I can now take those two templates and map them together. So I'm gonna go over here to device, to dual site. I'm going to edit. And then underneath the VPN template, I'm gonna go ahead and add a interface. From the drop down. I'm gonna choose gig zero slash three. And then the sub template is gonna be DHCP. Okay, and the DHCP server will be the DHCP template. So very, very obvious of what it is. So as you can see, if you do your legwork correctly up front, you can, it's just populating fields later on down the road. So, and the config that it's gonna push is exactly what we did on the edge one, except for we had to go through a few steps to get that up and running. So pretty much everything that you can configure on a template is configurable from the CLI. I haven't seen it, found anything that isn't yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on update. Give that a couple seconds to do its thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to say edit device template and we have a few options to put in here. So the IPv4 address here will be 10.5.6.2 slash 24. The group ID will be 56. The priority be, will be 125 just so that it's not standard. I'm gonna come down here to the address pool be 10.5.6.0 slash 24. The default gateway will be 10.5.6.254. And the DNS server will be quad eight. Go ahead and click on update and click on next. We're gonna click on this guy and wait for him to be updated. That should take a couple of seconds for it to populate the, the preview for the config. And then we'll look at a config diff underneath VPN one, which is right here, the same exact syntax. So we have, we're adding an interface, the IP address, no shutting it, VRRP, DHCP. Should we have added like Ex restrictions or uh, excluded addresses or stuff like that. Sure, but we're not. But obviously you could if you needed to. I'm gonna go ahead and cl click on configure devices and give that some time to push. This is the only, the only templates we'll have to make in this video. So we'll be pretty good there. We're gonna go ahead and I'll pause until this guy is done. All right, the config push was done. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick check on the router. So admin and then admin. And then we're gonna do a show run VPN one. And as you can see, everything got pushed, which is awesome. So the next step we have to go in here and do is actually go set up the switch and the, uh, the, the PCs, or I should say the routers. So on switch 17, we're gonna come in here and it's a blank canvas in this particular case. So we're gonna go to global config host name is gonna be switch 17. I need to create a VLAN, VLAN 56. It doesn't have to be VLAN 56, but we're just gonna go with that. Name is gonna be VLAN 56. And then I'm going to type in interface range gig zero slash zero through one is going to, and then actually let me go ahead and just do this as well. Uh, let's, yeah, I need to do this one. So if you wanna do a range, command on multiple interfaces, but they're discontiguous. So gig zero slash one, zero, zero slash zero through one. And then we want to skip gig zero slash two because it will be a routed interface that points to the ASA. Then you want to do gig zero slash three. And then you, because we're going to a different range, gig one slash zero. Okay, so now we're typing switch port access VLAN 56. Switch port mode is access and spanning tree port fast. There we have it. So now what I'm gonna go do is, this guy is configured at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and save the config. What I'm gonna go do now is I'm going to go to router five and six, respectively, router five, and you can see it's already working. So if we were to show IP interface brief, show run interface gig zero slash zero, we can see that DHCP is working already. If we go to router six, that I already had DHCP working for us, so show IP interface brief. We can see the DHCP was assigned IP addresses. If we go back to vEdge, I believe it's gonna be vEdge one. We do a show VPN one, and we or show DHCP server bindings for VPN one. Okay, now it shows it, so that's weird. Um, anyway, so we see that Oh, I, I know why. So 
we have a 181 deployed and we have 217 deployed. So that means if I go back over here to the router and I do a show IP route, you'll notice that we have a gateway of last resort of 10.5.6.254 and that's the address. So that's our, this is via RP's assigned address. So if we do a show ARP, we can see that the address here is tied to that. So we're gonna go ahead and ping 10.5.6.254 and it pings all day. If we were to, we should be able to SSH. I haven't tested that yet. Uh, dash admin, sorry, dash L admin to 10. Dot, to 10.5.6.254. We may not be accepting um, SSH at the moment, but that's okay. So at least we can ping to it and we know that we're going to, for example, if we needed to get out to the rest of the network. So let's say for instance, I needed to do a ping to, I don't know, let's do 13.13.13.13. There it goes. And it allows me to get to wherever I need to go. So if I do a trace route to 13.13.13.13 uh, numerically, I go, eventually jump over to router three and I'm good to go. So as you can see, the process is not very difficult. It's just a matter of getting in there and getting it all up and running. So pretty straightforward stuff for the most part. And that's really what I wanted to show you. So if you wanted to do VRRP, if you wanted to do DHCP, devices absolutely support it and things like that. So, so yeah, good stuff. So that's basically where we are at in terms of operations and all that good stuff. If you have any questions or comments or questions or anything like that, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.